Today, I'm gonna show you three cool ways to leather wrap your handles. Stay tuned. In my opinion, there is no better way to wrap up a project than with a nicely wrapped handle. And since we work with a lot of leather on this show, I figured we'd go over a few different ways to leather wrap the handle specifically. All of these are great looking and super easy to do, but you definitely want to stick around for this last one because I love it so much. Also, as you go, if you find this helpful, consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps the algorithm know that I'm making content that you like to see. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna show you is this cool kind of like spirally wrap we got going on. And this could not be easier to do. For starters, I'm gonna be using this two millimeter white leather cordage. Just cause it's what I had and it's the easiest to see on camera. First, I tie it off to the handle with a half knot just to keep it secure. Then I use an elastic to lock in that tag end right where I want it. The rest of my wrap is gonna end up going over that tag end just to lock it into place. All right, cool. So now all we have to do is we take the working end and form a loop in it. Then we slide that loop over the handle and tighten it to form a little half hitch knot. Then you simply repeat. Every new half hitch leaves a little lump of cordage just to the left and below the previous one. It's really that simple. You just keep looping and sliding it and tightening it until you get the look you want. Now, once I get close to the end where I wanna lock this thing up, I take this loop of thread and lay it across the work, securing it into place so that the bite is facing towards the end of my wrap. Then I just continue wrapping over it. I only went for additional like three or four wraps after that. That's more than enough to kind of hold our tag end into place. Then to finish it up, I just pass the end of my cord through that loop and pull it under the last few wraps. Then cut off the excess with an X-Acto knife. Now, I didn't have that long of a cordage. I think the ones I have only come in like eight foot increments. So you couldn't get the full effect of how this whole thing spirals. So I added this kind of black end to it here, just so you can see what it would look like if you kept going and it just spiraled around and around. And that could not be easier. It looks good and it provides a really good grip. Cool, so that's this one. For our next wrap, we're gonna try to get in this really neat kind of crossing center knot effect we have here. Now this one can be hard to see because of how small the leather cordage is, so I decided to do it with some rope first to show you how it's done. So to start, I form a bite in the cord and then lay that onto the handle. Next, I pass the working end over, forming a loop. That end then goes around the back of the handle, making another bite on the other side. That bite then gets passed through the first loop you formed and then tightened into place. Now we just repeat that, passing it back under the handle forming a bite on the other side, then sending that through the last bite I made. This just continues back and forth all the way down the length of the handle. The final result is this really cool crisscross pattern. When moving onto the leather cord, I actually found it much easier as it's smoother and more readily tightens down as I go. And this makes that little pattern super tight looking. I'm really happy with how those turn out. And this is so easy to do. Now to finish it off, I just pass the working end all the way through the final loop and tighten that down. Then I tie the remaining tail off with the tag. Now, it would have been much more clean if I did include kind of the thread with the loop and pulled it through like I did in the last one, but I forgot to do that at the beginning and I didn't want to undo the whole knot again. So do the little thread thing if you want it to kind of stay tight and look clean. But still, this thing looks great. I love how that looks. But again, for something so simple to look this nice, you can get you can get super creative with this. I really like this look. That being said, I like that look. I love this look. This one is super slick. This next one is called a two-stranded ring bolt hitching, I think. And look at it. It's beautiful. And it's just as easy as the last one we did. It's just it involves two cords, so it's slightly more complicated. Okay, so to start with, I take my two cords and secure the tag ends with an elastic. Then I pull both cords to the right just to keep it all out of the way and to get me started. Now the leftmost cord, I pass all the way around the handle and then send it back beneath itself, pulling it tight in the opposite direction. Then I do the same thing with the right cord. I pass it around the opposite side, around the back, and then underneath itself before pulling it backwards to tighten. And that's it, that's the whole pattern, you just repeat that. Looping the cord back in the direction it just came from, around the handle, and then back underneath itself to tighten. This is gonna leave us with these two running lines of knots, which by itself would look cool, but when you're using two different colored cordages, it looks just mwah, gorgeous. Which of course is what I'm doing here, using a black and a brown cord that I had. I also busted out these two pieces of wax thread forming loops just to lock in both ends. 
These I tape to the handle in different directions so that there are loops hanging out from both sides. Then I just secured the cordage to the handle with an elastic to begin. From here, it's just like I showed you. Passing the cords around the handle, back underneath themselves, and then tighten down, and just doing that in opposing fashion, forming these little runs of knots as we go. This also makes for a really clean alteration of colored bands all around the handle. When ready to finish, we just pass both ends through the loops of threads on either side, and then pull them underneath the wrappings, locking them securely into place. And you see why I love this one! It is gorgeous! For something so easy to do, it's so sexy. Look at that, that's so nice. And like, it's really secure, it adds some grip to it. These are now my mighty blacksmithing hammers of gorgeousness. I love that look, these are great. All right, I hope you got some good information out of this video. If you liked what you saw, why don't you give me some of that thumbs up love and do not forget to subscribe so you know when I release new content. In the meantime though, keep leveling up, you.